Sometimes, living on a narrowboat looks like this. But then other times, it looks a bit more like this. <laughs> when your house is a tiny floating tube, bad weather can be pretty scary, especially in the winter. It's really bad! The past year has been super wet and stormy. And although we've been lucky to avoid most of the flooding, we've just spent a week stuck in the ice, trapped in a town called Berkhamstead for over a week longer than we planned. I genuinely haven't left this boat in five days. In the last video, the ice had finally thawed out enough for us to move, so it's time for us to return to happy, tranquil boat life. Or is it? <gasps> oh, loads of smoke just came out there. Oh my God. So we're finally on the move! Yay! In the last episode you would have seen us and we were iced in completely. Basically the day that it's been free we <laughs> are moving. Partly because our time is up and partly because we've just got itchy tiller. We've been in this town now for a while which has been lovely but we're looking forward to just a detox of just nothingness. So come and join us! our stay in Berkhamstead. It's probably one of our favourite towns we've ever stayed in but we are so excited. We just keep saying to each other like, oh I can't wait to be in the middle of nowhere again where it's just dead quiet, just so you can see the stars. Yeah really excited for that. The sun is setting, but I think we'll be fine because this is lock four or five of the day. This looks like an old pump house, maybe. Looks like pumped water out there. Built in 1945. Such a pretty building, though. She's so happy. <laughs> so it's four o'clock now and look how bright it still is. It's so nice. The sunset isn't technically for another like 40 minutes and then after that last sun is at like five past five. So we've got plenty of time hopefully to get to the spot that we're looking at but it's really nice although it's a bit windy the sunset cruise is, it's up there. Yeah, and it's just nice to know that every day is gonna get a little bit longer. Every day it's a getting longer, going slower than a roller coaster. Maybe that rendition's so good we're gonna get copyright strike. Probably. <laughs> if he goes inside. He needs to sniff all the sniffs. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Going all over the shop. Gotta do just like that. Oh, I can see the next lock. So we're either mooring for it or ideally just above it, but apparently there's limited space, so we'll see. We found like a backup spot because the spot that we really want is above that lock. Amy and Andy are going to walk up ahead, scope it out and then hopefully go through that lock but if not this spot seems really good. <laughs> Draw the boat against the wind. 
Well, we've received news on the radio that the moorings should be free. Amy's given us a 100% confidence that we will both fit. So we're going through one last lock for the day. Just as the sun's starting to go down. It's so beautiful. It looks really beautiful, but through the trees on the camera, it doesn't look that great. But trust me, it's nice. because we're quite high up now. Yeah, just be careful because it's really windy. Will do. But I mean, it'll blow you into the moor in any way. Or that boat. Yeah. Here we go. I just need the gusts to hold off a sec while I get in. Here we go. Oh boy, that's windy. Goodness. You can never tell how windy it is with me because I haven't got any hair. I need a hat with tassels. <laughs> There's arm coat everything. The wind is now helping me to moor up though, which is pretty handy. Yes. In we go. Pretty good if I don't mind saying so myself. And we're on. My arm co again, what a treat. You don't have to put pins in, you just drop this behind. Rather than hammering. You just plop this behind that. There you go, your own mooring rings. Yay, what an amazing spot. Can't see much of it now because it's starting to get dark. And perfect timing as well with the sunset and stuff. Yeah. Love it when a plan comes together. Oh my God. What's up? The noise was my coat going like that. <gasps> That's such a big hole. My little <laughs> yak done greases. I have to be. They haven't even done anything strenuous. That's the second pair that's done that, isn't it? All right. I'll get you some more dungas. No. Yeah, I'm actually livid. I thought, no, should I put joggers on? Because we always cruise in joggers. And then I was like, well, we're not doing a strenuous cruise today. I'm going to wear some nice clothes. Lesson learned. <gasps> oh, some fire escaped briefly there. We Don't go. be alarmed. <laughs> Cozy boat, warm. Tidy. And it's dark outside. That means we timed the cruise perfectly. That last light has literally just gone. That's so good. <sighs> Time to make some dinner in our cozy, cozy, clean, tidy boat. What's happening here? <laughs> Every so often we try and use up the store cupboard. Um, so just like make sure we're rotating it all. And I'm looking for peas. But we've actually used all of our peas up, so that's quite good. Kind of not good, because I want some for tonight, but at least we're rotating. enough for lunch tomorrow too. Don't be alarmed. <laughs> Although we are quite hungry as well. We made some fried rice, used up some carrots, some kale, and then these like 
chrome temporary things. Mix With spring rolls on the side. Oh, yes. Can you move the carrot out of his bed quickly, Wes? He can't oh, possibly lay goodness. down. Oh, goodness, Rufus, how can you live under these conditions? Go on then, settle down. There you go, crisis averted. Oh, yes. Perfect. <laughs> Chef. We are going to chill, watch some telly, and <laughs> no, the cleanly washed sofa cushions. No, oh, it's gone down. The chair is danger. We are going to chill, watch some telly, eat our dinner, and we'll see you later. Oh, loads of smoke just came out of here. Oh my god. I just nearly fell over. So we're currently in the middle of Storm Jocelyn and it's crazy. Oh, Jocelyn is not happy. If you see how much <coughs> the boat is rocking, that is not an exaggeration. And because we've got a flu, the smoke is coming, the wind is so strong that it's blowing all the smoke straight back out. But we can't really open the windows because it's just going to be crazy. <sighs> we were just tucked up watching King It before bed and now suddenly... This is the worst that we've ever had it, yeah. wind-wise. At least we're not near any tall trees. Yeah. But at the same time, we've got no shelter from the wind either. Yeah, it seems just because we're out in the open. I hate it. <laughs> Is everything off secure off the roof? I, mean, I guess we'll find out. I didn't even know this was coming. The only thing I can think of is your flower pots. The big step ain't going anywhere, is it? Hopefully not. Got another two hours of getting worse as well before it gets better. We're like right in the middle of it right now. Storm Jocelyn, and we literally had Storm Isha two days ago, I think. And this is like the fifth named storm in like two months. Oh dear. 100 mile an hour winds apparently. And way down south, it's way worse up north. I hope everyone was okay in it. Oh, we just got tea, YouTube, just waiting it out. It's all right, Wes. We're on arm care. Uh. <laughs> I hope nothing blows off the roof. I really hate it when it's like this because the wind is just so relentless and you just you just have to ride it out while the boat just randomly goes like this. It's really rocking us tonight isn't it? I think it's just because we're so open like where yeah. we are we were like oh perfect it's so open there'll be so much solar but we didn't actually anticipate that if a named storm comes then it'll be really bad. Doing it's just the flap banging and the wind chime banging on the glass. You alright? Oh, I think the press studs have come undone. Let me fasten them. <laughs> Wesley is handling it well, as you can tell. I shan't be sleeping tonight. <laughs> Careful not, not to get blown away, the wind might suck you out. <laughs> Maybe we should take the wind chime off. It's going to be clanging about. Go on then. <laughs> not going to smash the glass, is it? No, it's a little cheap wind chime. Rock 
you're ruining the illusion. You're actually making the boat rock by doing that. Am I? <laughs> this is a recreation of what's happening right now on the outside. So all it's going to take is one big gust. <laughs> That's what you think is going to happen. Yeah. Don't, because I actually had a nightmare that that happened. One thing about living on a boat is you just have a whole new set of nightmares to have. In my night. In my nightmare, the boat was actually going like. Don't tell me this. Proper like this. And we were stood on the towpath trying to jump on to get it. Why would you tell me that? Mm. Where's. <laughs> Dramatizing it. <laughs> Also, it's really hard to hear because we had to turn the fire up to stop the backdraft from the smoke. But now it means that we're really hot in here. <laughs> Plus, there's the extra heat of your body constantly having to tense all your muscles to stabilise against the extreme rocking. <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> you alright, mate? Rufus is actually doing better than I am. I think it's like 52 mile an hour gusts are hitting us at the minute. He's just sad because he wants to go on the sofa. <laughs> go on then. Come on, up. Good boy. Les refuses to go to bed because he's scared. And I say, the wind isn't going to change whether you're on the sofa or whether you're cosy in bed. I can react quicker here. I can counteract the wind with tactical leaning. What do you think is actually going to happen? I don't know, which is why it's very irrational. And I don't know why sitting sort of braced on the sofa <laughs> makes you feel like I'm in any way more, in more control. Come on. Come on, you've got work in the morning. The wind is literally screaming, that's how scary a situation Come on. Is. Easy, easy! <gasps> Can't be making high speed moves like that. Easy. Right, Rufus, good luck, mate. Life jackets are in the cupboard. <laughs> right. I'm staying as central to the boat as possible. <laughs> It's still pretty windy and Rufus is in the crouch. What? What are you doing in there, mate? Doops is okay. Oh, Rufus, it's okay, baby. Oh, yes. Come on. We'll try and get some sleep. Night. That's a bit better than yesterday, isn't it? Beautiful. Well, it's the next day and it's the calm after the storm. The sun's out and it's lovely. Still a little bit windy, but it's a hell of a lot less than it was last night. We survived. We went to bed about half past two. Yeah, I mean, you fell asleep quite quickly. I was not doing great. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. The boat didn't do as many flips as I thought it might. So it was all good. <sighs> well, hopefully we don't have another one next week. Back to our normal routine. Thank you for riding out the storm with us. And if you enjoyed this and want more, make sure to subscribe. Big love to the Chip Pals on Patreon and to Sylvia again for the bags of chips. Make sure to connect with us on our social media and we will see you next time. Bye.